So back in 2007, NASCAR and DirecTV had partnered together to create a brand new way to show NASCAR fans their races. Never before had fans had the opportunity to watch their own driver on a dedicated broadcast to that driver. Couple this with the fact that 2007 was the first full season that NASCAR was being broadcast in HD, and it seemed to be shaping up as a dream for NASCAR fans. DirecTV jumped on this, making this service possible along with their other ones like NFL Sunday Ticket and MLB Extra Innings as part of their sports packages. Initially in 2007, DirecTV charged $99 for the full season. The subscription gave fans the option to watch from five different drivers channels plus a mixed channel that had small screens showing the other five channels as well as links to those channels. While the initial price was $99 for the full season in 2007, it was slowly reduced throughout the season until it was $59 as the offer in July, before being slashed to $20 for the chase. Hot Pass had some big moments in 2007. Kevin Harvick won the initial race on NASCAR Hot Pass for its first broadcast ever. And that same year, Wendy Venturini called play-by-play -play for Hot Pass, becoming the first woman as a play-by-play -play commentator for a NASCAR race for a full race in the history of the sport. She called the race on Robbie Gordon's channel at Sonoma, where the seven car led the most laps. Speaking of commentating, the opening seasons of Hot Pass had rotating announcers for each channel. These personalities included the likes of Venturini, Hermie Sadler, Doug Rice, Adam Alexander, and Pat Pemberton. Due to his immense popularity, Dale Earnhardt Jr. was on Hot Pass more often than any other driver, and because of this, had his own dedicated commentary crew of Rick Allen and Phil Parsons. On top of this, channels also had special guests on for races. One of these was a young Brad Keselowski in 2008 on Dale Jr.'s channel at Martinsville. Other guests included the likes of media members like Daryl Waltrip and the late Steve Burns. These channels offered fans of the featured drivers more in-depth looks at their drivers' races, and even having a thrilling call for them every race, even if they were only going for 15th position in the closing laps. Part of the in-depth coverage had to do with the fact that team audio was also played during the races. The coverage consisted of a view of the main broadcast, as well as specialized cameras all around the track that would follow the driver throughout the entirety of the race. If the featured driver DNF'd or fell too far back, the coverage then would change probably to a teammate more often than not. In 2007, if Dale Jr. dropped out of the race, coverage of his Hot Pass channel would then go over to a teammate like Martin Truex Jr. or Paul Menard. Hot Pass would change drastically though after 2008, and in 2009, Hot Pass became free. Gone were the announcers and specialized cameras following one driver. To give a comparison, here's two clips. The first from 2008 with Dale Earnhardt Jr. and the second from 2012 with Dale Earnhardt Jr. They're gonna look for an opening. Down to the bottom they go. Still up top, still up top. Goodbye there. Two laps of racing to go. Still on the bottom three wide there. Just 31 over five miles now. remain in the Aaron's 499. Still outside there, 29. Got help with you. Got one backing up in the middle there. At your door there, 31. Coming to push. On the bottom three wide. Push to the 31 here. Still outside. Still outside right, up the to 18. 31 helping to help here, still outside the 15. Still one outside there, got help with you. Problems again! Stay, stay low, right there, good, clear. Jamie McGuire gets bumped, he slides, he saves it. And now the slide Last behind him. There. The white flag flew, will they throw the caution? Still two outside there. Stay low, stay low, keep digging, keep digging. Problem with Jim, Jimmy keep digging. Johnson gets turned Cross around as well. Here. The caution will fly, there. Big we're currently scoring 10. Right that out. will end the race. Dale Earnhardt Jr. makes it up to 10. There you go, buddy, white flag. Bring a home one more time for you. There you go, buddy, white flag. I wish people at home could be here to see these people in the grandstands and to hear them.
We're up here in the TV, TV booth, and you can hear these people. Got a bunch coaching on the Ambridge again up here in that 27 car. Nobody's here, you man. Into turn three for the final time. It's all you, bud. Pretty bad way to go on. Thanks, Chuggy. You deserve the bonus. You should have held the job. Thanks. That'll look great. After 2012, DirecTV pulled the plug on the service. And now today, in 2019, all NASCAR hot passes is, is a distant memory. So let me know down below. What did you think of NASCAR hot pass if you watched it? And if you hadn't watched it, would you have knowing what you know now? If you hadn't even heard of it until now, would you get a subscription to NASCAR hot pass the way it was in 2007 or 2008 if they had it like that for 2019? Let me know down below, and until next time, have a good one.